Hi, um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can access uh, all the latest coronavirus news on the BBC. Now the BBC, as you know, has got one of the best um, media channels and news departments in probably the world. Uh, and if, you're, if you've got anything related to the UK and English speaking, whatever, it's a good source of um, information. Of course, for um, updates about what's happening in the UK with the virus, it's uh, second to none. Uh, unfortunately, although you can watch it perfectly well if you're in the UK, if you're not in the UK, this will happen. Let me just go to the BBC News um, site here. Uh, these are all the live channels you can get onto BBC. So we've selected the news here. Now you can watch live or watch from the start. Let's just watch live and see what's on. Uh, you'll see you get this message. Um, it says this content is not available in your location. Basically, it's looked at my IP address and said, ha, you're not in the UK, therefore you can't watch it. And it's the same for all the BBC. Uh, none of the channels work. If I went to BBC One and tried to watch what's on there, I'll get the same message. Uh, and all the archive is the same. You can listen to most of the radio stations. They're on BBC Sounds, so they should all work, uh, apart from anything that's licensed. So how do we get past this? Well, it's to use a tool that I think in a couple of years everybody's going to be using. Uh, it's called a VPN. Let me just show you now one of the really neat things you can do with it. Okay, so as I said, the BBC um, will block me because uh, it looked at my IP address and said, huh, you're not in the UK. You can't watch this. Right, this is a VPN. It's called uh, a Virtual Private Network. Uh, it's a um, very low-cost little service. Uh, sits in my taskbar. I've obviously also got the app that goes on my phone, which I use as well. Um, it's by a company called NordVPN, but there are loads of others. Um, the only thing you've got to be careful with is BBC. Um, because they quite often block some VPN providers. NordVPN works as long as you just follow my instructions. Um, right, here it is. Here's a big map of all the VPN servers all over the world. Each one represents a country where NordVPN have got some servers in. Uh, usually dozens in each one. Um, for the UK, there's several hundred, I think seven or eight hundred servers. <clears throat> and right, all you need to do really is click on one and you'll make a encrypted connection to that server, which is great because it protects all your information and make sure nobody can intercept things like emails, passwords, account details and stuff. Essential if you're traveling or using uh, Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes for things like your banking and PayPal, stuff like that. But it also allows you to change your IP address, which is the only thing that's really blocking us from BBC iPlayer. So, now, you could click on United Kingdom here or the Quick Connect button. Uh, with NordVPN, I suggest just searching here and typing United Kingdom, and you'll get a big list of all the um, servers, United Kingdom servers, that NordVPN has. I would suggest try three or four of these and then add them to your favorites. Uh, this is because if you use the Quick Connect, I found you tend to get bunched with the loads of people on the same server and um, BBC iPlayer will detect the number of connections on a single IP address and if it gets too high um, it'll block that IP address so you might find that a couple of NordVPN servers get blocked don't don't worry they're, they're, they're at least 700 I think maybe more okay so I've got a couple of favorites I'll click on one now and you can see it's now connecting to the United Kingdom okay now, it takes a few seconds to connect, depending on how busy the server is. There we go. It's not long. Um, so I have now got a UK IP address. So I couldn't get my coronavirus updates from the BBC a minute ago. Let's just go back. Uh, I'll start Microsoft Edge this time and go in. Uh, the reason I'm doing that to save me rebooting my computer, um, if you go in and get blocked, it's best to... Um, clear all your session data beforehand. To save doing that, I'm just going into a different browser, which usually prevents these problems. Okay, so I'm back on the BBC iPlayer. I'm looking for my news. There's the channels. And here, or one, two, three, four, all of them. I think there are 12 um, 
live channels that broadcast pretty much 24 7. The news certainly does. There, when I'm clicking on the news here, remember now the BBC sees the NordVPN IP address, which is based in the UK. Um, it won't see my real IP address. So let's click and let's watch the live news. You remember we were we got that little message last time, and here we are. Uh oh, it's our old friend Donald Trump telling us how to solve the um, coronavirus problem. I'm just going to stop that there, but you can see it works perfectly, and it doesn't stop there. You can watch all of the British TV stations as long as you're connected to UK VPN. So connect to the BBC, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five, which are all free. And also, if you um, change to a US one, you can use all the um, US only websites as well. Change to a French, you can see the French websites. Australia, Canada, and so on. It basically completely unlocks the internet. It's incredible, really. Um, there's a, a link in the description where the best deals are on my Nord, the NordVPN um, connections, the software that I use. You can use other VPNs. Make sure you check that they work with BBC. Most other of the websites work pretty well, um, but BBC does block a lot of VPNs, so check it works first. Um, usually just try a short trial or just email them to check, something like that. Okay, that's uh, all for now. So thank you very much for watching and uh, stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.